Hi, welcome to Technically Speaking, number 16. It is entitled, Lullaby. At the top of the page, Hugo Schlemüller writes, two slurred notes, in parentheses, on one string. That just means that the two slurred notes in question happen only on one string and not as you cross strings. Something like this. Take the first measure. And the second measure. And so on and so forth. Now it also so happens that he does all of the slurs using two half notes. So each note gets two counts. Sometimes he adds whole notes, of course, which are four counts, just like two slurred half notes. And for some reason, he puts in two separate half notes two separate times. So you get this. We're going to do two separate half notes and two slurred half notes in succession, just the way he writes it in the middle of the piece. Three, four. All right, it's nothing new as far as the two separate half notes are concerned. It's just something to look out for as a beginning cellist. That way you know how to plan your bow. The teacher has almost exclusively slurred quarter notes. So in essence, he's doing two beats for each bow until the very last measure, where both parts have a whole note. Here's the very first measure. Three, four. Second measure. Now we're going to skip all the way to the end, the last two measures. Three, four. The last note that I'd like to make is that Schlemüller writes a dynamic at the very beginning. A piano. It does not change until the third measure from the end where he writes a diminuendo. With that, listen to Lullaby.